Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. The roadmap has been updated, so let us take a look at the new changes. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. So let's kick off with the new edition of the Alpha 318 column. Now this is the quarter two 2022 patch set to release around the end of June next year. So quite a way off yet and pretty much can change quite drastically from now to then. At the moment, it's practically showing the features that have been pushed back with these new changes that I will get to next. So as expected, this Fortnite's roadmap update has had a few features removed and some pushed back from the release viewer due to the changes that we heard about from Richard Tyra on the most recent Star Citizen Live. And to briefly reiterate on what was said, the work on the features that are either removed or pushed to a later date is still ongoing. They've not stopped working on them. However, they will be implementing them into Squadron 42 first to fully prove them out. And then when ready and when they have developed enough use cases for the feature, they will then bring them to the PU. So the features haven't stopped working. They've not been delayed. They are still ongoing in the background. But instead of giving us all these tier zero features that basically have no use in the PU, they're going to bring them into Squadron first, get them as good and polished as possible, and then make some use cases or reasons for us to use them in the verse, at which point they will then bring them in. So the features that have been pushed back and are now in the newly included Alpha 318 column are as follows. We have FPS radar and scanning, actor feature EVA tier 2, hacking and 0G push and pull, all of which Richard Tyra did speak about a little bit in Star Citizen Live. I didn't realize that was actually a clue to the ones that were being pushed back. And it is a shame because these are some really good features there. But of course, I would rather have them with more significance than just the basic implementation. Uh, the features temporarily removed from the roadmap in order to be rescheduled are cutting tier 2 and weapon charge and drain tier 0 tech. So thankfully, as it stands right now, Salvage has been left untouched. Fingers crossed it remains in for the end of year patch and we can be salvaging at the end of the year. I don't think it's really relevant to Squadron 42 is Salvage. So at the end of the day, I don't think it's something they need to bring into Squadron first as it is more of a gameplay loop like mining is, for example. So they can hopefully just bring that in. Let's hope it doesn't get pushed any further. And in terms of what has been pushed back, that was a lot less horrific than I was expecting. But that's not to say that we won't see other things getting pushed back later down the line. But as I say, I would prefer to have something more established than something that I can barely use in the PU right now. And when we do finally get these features in the PU, they will have use cases. They will be more fleshed out, more polished and better to use. Anyway, let's get on to the good news. There are a couple of new features added to the release viewer, and both of these are Arena Commander specific. We have Scoreboard UI improvements and Pirate Swarm Vandul Swarm improvements. For the Scoreboard UI improvements, this is now coming with Alpha 315 and is already committed. Uh, and this is the converting of the scoreboards in Arena Commander and Star Marine to work with building blocks. The new interface will give players real-time access to position, name, rank, score, objectives, kills, deaths, assists, and ping. For the Pirate Swarm Vandul Swarm improvements, this is now new on the Alpha 318 patch, and this will involve a detailed rebalance of the waves in Arena Commander's two game modes, aiming for a more engaging player experience. Now, as much as I'm not playing Arena Commander and haven't actually played it for a long while, if all of these improvements make it worthwhile for me to jump back into it, maybe to get some practice or work with the org, then I will certainly give it a go. So right now, I can take it or leave it, but it's good to see that Arena Commander is getting some love. And this is the Fire Sprite team who are working on Arena Commander, Theatres of War, and all things electronic access, who I do believe have just been bought by PlayStation. So I would be very interested to hear what this means for their work with CIG. Hopefully we'll have some insight one day soon. Someone has asked them on Twitter about this and they just said at this time they're not ready to give any information. So I expect we will hear more later down the line and hopefully it doesn't affect CIG's partnership with them and they can continue bringing Theatres of War and Arena Commander. Now to finish with, many of Alpha 315's features are now committed 
which is making me very happy. The following cards are all committed into the 315 release, which means CIG are around 95% certain they will be in the build and not get removed. We have Actor Feature Personal Inventory, Tech Healing Tier 0, NPC Healing, Physical Local Inventory Support, Asset Manager Moby Glass App, the Doctor and Nurse AI Behaviors, the Cure Life Medical Tool and the Grey Cat Multi-Tool Healing Attachment, and as mentioned before, the Scoreboard UI Improvements for Arena Commander and Star Marine. So there are so many now committed, and many of these are the ones that I wanted to see committed, like Personal Inventory and Healing. I am very, very happy to see them. And now all that remains to be committed are the two clinic types for Grimhex and the Space Stations, the new Babbage and Orison Hospitals, AI Shops and Patrons, and the ships like the Redeemer, the A2, and both the Starfighters, which I am not worried about. I'm confident that the ships will release with 315 or even in 315.1. Uh, also, the Ares size 7 weapons are not committed either. And personally, the features that make Alpha 315 amazing are all now committed. And my god, this is going to be such an amazing patch. The hype is definitely real for me now. Roll on, CitizenCon. So that was the roadmap update. Great to see the new edition of Alpha 318, even if it is just more of a Fallout patch for now. And I was honestly expecting a much worse knock-on effect of the new changes to the release strategy. But I don't feel like they're finished yet. I do think there's still going to be some that do get removed or pushed back so they can focus more attention to them. Uh, but for me though, I am just really happy to see 315 getting locked in and the run-up to CitizenCon is going to be very exciting. But with that said, I will be discussing this and more over on Twitch. I may even be live right now. So if you want to hang out with myself and my awesome viewers, you are all more than welcome. Please consider subscribing. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor. Tick the bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. Again, thank you to my patrons and channel members. You guys are beautiful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.